Greetings, this is a, another Chosen One message. Okay, so first things first, I would just like to direct everyone to William Donahue, who is the lead director, or was, of the Catholic League, I'm not Catholic, I'm Christian, however, for multiple decades, and a head professor at Notre Dame. And he specifically talks about how the zodiac signs and astrology is biblical. And he literally has all, he has thousands and thousands of lectures, and he is notar like notarized for this. And again, in all of the 14th century churches, the 12 zodiac signs are in the cathedral, 12 disciples with the 12 signs. He literally points out and talks for all of his lectures, which disciple is correlated to which sign and why. He even talks about the three deacons of each sign. He also brings up every single scripture in the Bible where God specifically talks about the specific constellations and how he designed them out that way to um, bring messages to us. And in the old Catholic, like in the older times, Catholic priests had astrologers working with them to prophecy. Okay, now that that's out of the way, <sighs> chosen ones, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. I was channeling Where the Red Fern Grows, which is a pretty sad novel about a boy who has to work really hard, his family doesn't have much, he saves up all of his money to get his dream dog, spoiler alert, the dogs pass. Um, one passes because the other passed and so it was so depressed, and then the other got mauled by a um, mountain lion or bobcat or something. So there's something here about just good old-fashioned hard work, pers perseverance, the human experience, man's relationship to nature, the cycle of life and death, how things keep cycling. I'm also hearing eulogy, trilogy, sequels, things like that. There's a sequel. Something could be coming back around. Um, something could be uh, spinning the block here. Also, um, I, <laughs> well, I'm hearing, I do my own stunts, Jackie Chan, with it. Also... Boy, I got so many ways, ways to get paid. So someone here could have thought that you were kind of one dimensional or you could be operating. It's for two different groups. There's one group that's a bit stagnant. And you're not doing much. It's the same thing. You're playing the same cycle. And it's like you need to pull in more skills. You need to bring more to your repertoire. Now for others, someone here got, got you all messed up because they thought that you were some like one dimensional. They didn't realize that you actually do all these other things. And you're like, no, I actually do so many other things. I'll use myself for example. It's like, yeah, I do readings and this is what I do full time, but I've also been a wedding photographer for over 15, 16 years. I shot a full wedding today, shooting another one uh, next week. So it's like, I do that. I also walk on tight ropes. That's a great um, exercise and great meditation for me. I do long distance cycling. I've been show jumping horses my entire life. I play the harp therapeutically with, with the National Standards Board of Therapeutic Musicians and a school program there. I've taught four different types of yoga and, and registered in four different types of yoga. I've been to different, like I've been to so, I've done so many different things. And so when people want to like look and be like, mm, look, here's this girl who, and they judge me because of how I look, this, that, and the third, and they think it's just very flat one dimensional. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Oh, and I've never been a stripper, but I have done pole dancing competitions, which you can also see that on all my platforms. But people love to gossip and ch -ch -ch. oh my gosh. So because she does that, she's a stripper. She's a, so people can be out here just running their mouths. But you know what happens when you pick at something? Like I'll use like a pimple. What happens when you pick at a pimple? It gets worse. It blows up. It becomes bigger. You see it more. Instead of hiding it, you actually make it pop out more. So it's great, chosen ones, the more that people also push back on you. Also, if you don't have hate, then you are living a lukewarm life because passion and opposition, well, opposition exists in everything. And if you're not passionate about something and you do not have opposition to your beliefs, then you are not defined. And if you don't define your edges, then the devil will. You see, discouragement will have you doing things or just sitting and doing nothing because that's how the devil gets you. He can't lay a finger on you, but he can get in your head and he can discourage you. He can stop you from taking action on your North Node. He can, um, like there's this story between two devils and one is working so hard to try and get someone to kind of ruin their life. And the other one is succeeding famously. And he's like chilling back, relaxing. And the other one is like, oh, he's like, how do you do this? I'm exhausted. Like, how are you so successful? And he's like, you're trying too hard. He's like, all you got to do is make them lazy. All you got to do is just make them lazy. Just, you know, make them get fat, pop those drinks, like sit in front of that TV, sit in front of that screen, scroll, scroll, scroll. All I got to do is make them lazy. You don't have to work that hard. So someone here needs to get their butt up. If you are just repeating the same cycle, you're not going to make it to the next quantum leap. You need to pull in a new, new hobby. Also with the revisiting, going back to something, you could have done one career and then as you upgraded, you switched to a different career field and now you're actually going to go back to the old career field with your new state of consciousness. So it's going to bring a little twist. Um, I'm hearing Oliver twist. Also, I was hearing a violin. Uh, violins, you know, can sometimes be 
for funerals, so my condolences with that, but also the song Encore by Eminem and 50 Cent. It's curtains, so something here could be an encore, curtain call, a big show, but in that song, he's like, if you don't let us in through the front, it's fine, we'll go through the side. He's also like, time's up, game over, you lose, I win. It's a new year, I'm in a new phase. Um, we outgrind you every time I go out. I just come back and I circle again on a new phase, a new level. He's like, you walk around mad. You let your anger blindside you. We walk around playing the violin behind you. So um, someone here can also be really upset because it's like you have this playful childlike quality to you. And so again, they want to pin you as superficial, as flat, as not intelligent, as all of these things. And you're like, hmm, that's cute because I actually speak all these different languages, play these instruments, do all these different athletic endeavors and it's like they don't they couldn't do half of that because they're too busy here busy here running their mouth so you want pushback because that means that you're doing something right also brian johnson he was talking about yeah our mind is a cunning is cunning and deceptive it is a really unqualified steward for our wellness so we have to get into better habits you guys you cannot execute a million dollar idea with minimum wage habits so i am someone i do not falter i do not waver i don't care what or who contacts me i have to do certain things on my to-do list every day i have to do my cold showers i have to do my cold therapy i have to do my sauna time i have to do long distance biking or walking i have to do a long distance aerobic activity i have to play my harp every day i try for 20 to 45 minutes some days it's a few hours some days i only play one or two songs before i sleep i have to journal every day i have to read books every day i have to do yoga every day i have to walk my you know take care of my animals spend time in nature like I have a long list. I have to cook myself meals every day. I have to spend time with God and pray every day. I spend time in my Bible first thing every morning and oftentimes when I'm driving as well. I do these things. And so when people see certain results, it's like it didn't come from nowhere. It came from doing the same routine day in and day out for years without expecting any results because I have a genuine interest in these things because I genuinely love these things. So you need to find what you really love. You need to have better habits, a better routine, because again, you're never going to actualize your idea. You're never gonna get out of where you're at with minimum wage habits. So change your habits. Also the movie, Let Me In, it's like a vampire and like this nerdy boy that's really quiet who always gets bullied on, they become best friends. So you could be someone who's pretty isolated. You kind of get bullied because you're a bit different and you could be meeting your match. You could be meeting a new friend, a new lover, a new colleague. Um, I'm also hearing that uh, proverb analogy. I think it's actually Einstein. If you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it's forever going to think it's stupid. So if someone here, you just keep, you feel like you're just slamming into a wall. It's like you're meant to go in a different direction. This can also be with your relationships. Also something about uh, being a tough cookie. So check the oven if you, unless you like your uh, cookies crispy. I actually saw graffiti on a building the other day that said cookies can be a poem too. So someone here could be um, a gift giver through food. They could really like baking. Uh, they want to make you cookies. I don't know something here with that. Also, I saw, I see a lot of 555. 555 is big changes. Also, is hearing the song I Love It by like iconic pop. You're from the 70s, but I'm a 90s Bia. Uh, you want me down on earth, but I'm up in space. You're so dang hard to please. I gotta kill the switch. Yeah, you're from the 70s, but I'm a 90s Bia. So, um, there could be an age gap here. Again, someone could be stuck in their ways. They are so entrenched in how things used to be. Okay, well then go watch William Donahue, who is a very well-renowned scholar and Catholic, who again is all about the Zodiac in the Bible because literally the Zodiac came from the Bible. So don't try and say otherwise because it literally did. So just go listen to him. This isn't my opinion, this is fact. So go educate yourself and you can go educate these people from the 70s or 60s or 50s who are, hmm, that's new age, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. It's actually way older than what you're touting. It's actually way older than you're touting. So go get your historian on because you're wrong. So there's that. Also, 555, the Gadsden flag. I know some people can kind of associate that with the Confederate, but it's it's not, but it has a flag. Um, it's a yellow flag with like a snake on it. It's basically like, come at me, bro. But the flag says, don't tread on me. And I saw it three times this week. So you can really be having that energy where people who used to push up against you, you're enjoying it now. You're like, come at me, bro. And again, don't tread on me. Bless you.